everyone to your manifestation video. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Today we are going to be talking about stop worrying and getting visualized. Okay guys, so I'm getting the cards out over here. I'm going to do it a little different today. I'm actually going to use the small cards first to see what is going on. I'm getting some helpful tent, uh, tips over here. <clears throat> See what Spirit has to talk about over here. We're talking about that law and attraction and manifestation. I'm um, getting back from the universe what you put in. If you're putting out into the universe that you are poor, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not attracting great love, I'm not lovable, I'm not deserving, um, then unfortunately that's what we're going to get back from the universe. So we don't want to do that. We really want to reprogram our minds to, you know, talk differently about who we are, what we want, and what we can receive from the universe. So, and truly believing and having faith within the situation. So, let's see what's going on over here. Getting three cards out. And first card coming out is positive faith and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Keep those doors coming open. Okay, let's see what we're doing over here. Do the work. Well, of course, that's a part of that manifestation, right? I have to make sure that we take a little action. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've got to take the, the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Constantly working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Love it. And let's see, the last cards out are words of abundance. Like I said, words are power, right? If I keep saying, I'm this, I'm that, right? Then the universe responds back. It wants to say yes. Oh, well, yes, I guess you are poor. Well, yes, I guess you are unhealthy. Well, yes, I guess you do not want love. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully power, positive words. Always describe your own and the, word, and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Remember... Um, when it comes to this, it also reminds me of uh, misery loves company. We've all heard that, right? Those who are miserable attract those who are miserable. So, right? If you're not feeling the best, then you're going to attract those who are not feeling the, be the best. So that comes down to attracting, not chasing. I love that too. And this is also about love as well. Make sure you're attracting, not chasing, right? So... Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlining chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So I'm going to put that one there. Um, that was kind of like the fourth. It just kind of fell out. So I'm going to use it. Spirit wants it. So let's see what's going on over here with the manifestation cards. messages please Ooh, one more feel that it really wants to pull I feel the pull and the tug over here my friends it's like ready to rock okay look at that bless your past we've been seeing this card a lot um, so I think that a lot of people really get stuck in the past we forget to forgive ourselves we forget to forgive others or we don't want to Right? Whether or not you actually want to go and tell them face to face is up to you. You do not have to do that. All you do is just forgive them as you are praying, you know, for, you know, they don't know what they do. They're, you know, not being smart enough to understand how they're affecting other people's lives, right? Things of this nature, or maybe I messed up and I need to really forgive myself for the situation and wipe that slate clean. We all make mistakes, right? That's a part of the journey. Um, others more so than others, right? A useful tool to help us to let go of any emotional residue that is still clinging to us from a past experience is to bless your past. 
You wouldn't be the person you are today if it wasn't for your past. So we have to remember that. How strong have you become? Who are you, right? But move past that so you can become the better you, right? Whenever the memory of an event or person comes to mind, pause and say to yourself, I bless every aspect of my past and I celebrate the contribution that it gave me in becoming the person that I am today. Because seriously, you wouldn't be that person. Your soul knows half of the consequences and things that were going on in your life before you were even born. It knew what paths it wanted to take. It knew what parents it wanted to have. Whether they were rich, whether they were poor, whether they were this, whether they were that, because they wanted that experience. So a lot of the experiences that you experienced were already pre-written to take these types of um, journeys, right? It had contracts with karmics to learn, right? It had, you know, uh, bad karmics, semi-okay karmics, good soulmates, bad soulmates, good love, bad love. Right? So that the soul could grow and it makes you into this person who you are. And coming out with that is forgiveness of ourselves. When something goes wrong, even in the circumstances we're out of control or did the very best that we could possibly do, we can still carry guilt after the event. The gifts of guilt is to help us to learn and to develop a conscience not to carry it as a ball and chain for the rest of our lives. Listen to the learning and forgiving. forgive yourself for not being perfect. Release any guilt today. And that's coming up over here. Why? Because I want you to stay positive. Have faith and optimism. The things that you want are going to come your way. You are in control of your own destiny when it comes to these situations. Right? So... see what's going on over here do the work this is where you you know you put in the work right truly trust that you can receive all of these things that are meant for you have your voice. I love that because that's going between the words of abundance and do the work. And a lot of the work is voicing, using your words. Is there something that you need to say? An inability to speak out can leave us with feeling of hurt and resentment, which then creates a kind of internal energetic roadblock. Voice your feelings to yourself or write them down. It is time to release the past, my friends. A lot about releasing the past. We do have this full moon coming out. We also just had that, that solar eclipse, which was also a new moon. So for those of you who did not release what you need to release, now is time. Now is time. We have this great portal that is open right now with this full moon, right? And so it is time now to start manifesting. It is time to start getting your dreams out there. Voice those feelings. Wipe that clean. You know, as the, as the power starts flowing into your conscious, you can make anything you want out of it. When you start getting emotionally involved with it, that idea will come. You voice it. Write it. Write your story. This is your story. Right? Because remember, when you start getting emotion emotional, E, motions, energy in motion, right? That is beyond your present understanding so that it can cause the little voice in your head. It, your little voice in your head always tells you what, right? That's your rational thinking. That's the one that wants to bring in the fears and the doubts that we can't have things, right? It wants to go haywire. It's bringing in that nervous system, causing all kinds of, you know, crazy things going on. It will hold you in place where you can be, you know, set so deeply within this area of your life that it's almost like I can't change. I don't believe that there's any such thing as change. I fear the change. I doubt the change. So you're keeping yourself in this like paradigm, guys, right? And it's a multiple, a multiple, uh, like a multitude, I'm going to say multitude 
of habits that are fixed in your subconscious mind. And when you go to stir them up and mix things up, everything goes crazy in your nervous system. Then everything's like, I can't do this. I have anxiety. I have that. Oh, I possibly can do that. Or I'm not, I don't have the money to, to do this. Stop, right? Open the floodgates, my friends. If we are unable to acknowledge and talk about our feelings, they stack up and build up like a pressure cooker waiting to blow. <laughs> That's exactly what that little voice is trying to do too because it's overprotective. That's your overprotective piece, right? It's coloring our ability to see clearly. This card calls you to acknowledge your emotions and find a way to release them. Write them, them down. Write down your thoughts and your feelings if needed to reach out for or reach out for professional help to help clear those things, right? Talk to a friend, okay, however it is, you know. And remember, you know, because this is this piece of uh, your mind that's pretty much that, that uh, whole term of can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? Old, you know, old habits are hard to die. That's not true. Right? Those are pieces that we're told. We need to reprogram ourselves and say no. Through law of attraction, there is no fear. We co-create the things that we attract. We don't need to be stuck. Giving ourselves our own little like tower moment of ourselves to reconnect to who we are and remembering where we came from, who we are, and why we are here. Right? So the words of abundance over here is, yes, Difficult emotions. This card asks you to listen to your emotions. Every emotion we have is necessary and important to us, even the challenging ones. Difficult feelings are letting you know that something is not okay. Learn to understand and love your emotions and discover how they serve you. Learn, right, how you're doing this. This will also help you with that attracting and not chasing. It'll help you use the words of abundance towards yourself through using all of the emotions that you need, keeping those emotions high, telling yourself, you know, I am no different from the neighbor down the street who owns a Mercedes. Just because I don't have a Mercedes doesn't mean that I cannot have a Mercedes. We are all the same in the end. Some of us live different lives. We walk different paths. No, we won't have maybe exactly everything that everybody else has, but we don't 100% know that. And how, you know, in a lot of ways, it's almost like how dare you tell yourself that you cannot right? Because you need to trust in the universe, right? Whether you get it or not, it's not the point. But I think the point is, is how dare we degrade ourselves to saying that we are lower than others. See, this is why I don't like about society. Society places everybody in, of course, that's the way we're supposed to be done. You have the middle class, the, the poor class, the upper class. But the thing I don't like about it is like, okay, that's fine. You classed everybody. That's fine. But the thing is, is then they start getting to the point where it's like, because the poor class will never become the middle class and the middle class can never become the other class. Really? When did you decide that you could become the dictator of the world to tell me how I'm going to be? Do you see what I'm saying? There's this like almost like a, div a division of barriers. And then we program this in our minds and then it keeps people like in the hoods and in these places, in these certain areas, these neighborhoods, right? Whether it's from, you know, the projects of this over here telling them they can't get over here. Really? Because huh, that is not the way this works. Just because you were born there doesn't mean you have to be there forever. This is why society in a lot of ways sucks. But it's also a lot of programming that goes on in us. And those who are powerful, they already know these techniques. They know this stuff, but they don't want to share it with anybody because then they would know that you're free to express yourself and to be able to get the things that you want in life that would keep their control away. That's for sure. Right guys. <clears throat> so don't be vague. Also, when you're asking the universe for things, get out there, make sure that you're scripting your story and make it as lively as possible Add every detail that you need, right? The only d detail you can't really have in this situation is exactly how it's going to come. Right, because the universe will make it come in so many different expected ways that you don't even couldn't even imagine how it's going to come. You might have an idea of how it's going to come, but more than likely it'll be wiped away. So just you know, it's kind of like when I say envision driving that car, but you don't know how the hell you got that car, but don't worry about it. It's not your 
If that's not your worry, your worry is not how did I, how did I get this car? Your worry is about me driving this car and being so happy to have it and expressing those emotions and trusting in the universe that you can have this car or have a car, right? However it is. Sometimes we can strive relentlessly to make something happen and then experience huge disappointment when our efforts do not work. While action on our part is required, if we are too determined to stay on one course only, we in inadvertently block ourselves from the guidance and direction that the universe is trying to bring us to. This is a time to trust in letting things happen. That's why I'm saying if you're so worried about it being a Mercedes, well, what if the universe says, you know what, I have this beautiful BMW for you and you're going to really freak out? Well, you see the point I'm making? No, you're going to be so happy because this is, you know, it's, that's this is still the same, you know what I mean? This is still the same kind of thing I want. Um, unless you actually have that, you know, kind of money to go out there and really get what you want. That's different though. We're not talking about that. We're talking about manifesting what we need and what we want. So sometimes things don't always go exactly as I just said, as planned, right? You might have this beautiful man in your head. He's got blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, what if the universe says, I don't have that. I have this soulmate who has, you know, brown hair and brown eyes. You, you, oh, I don't want him. <laughs> really? See what I'm saying? So we don't want to get too caught up in some of the things that we're doing. Okay. So always make sure that, that you understand that as well. Right. You are attracting love. Right. But if you're making him into Fabio or something, you know what I mean? Or she's supposed to look like Angelina Jolie and she doesn't, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, so you have to think, okay, well, you know what? They might not be exactly my type of boy. Are they a, what a beautiful person. I am just thrilled. You know what I mean? Because you have soulmates out there that are ready to connect. They have contracts and they're ready to rock. And they're waiting for you. Right? So how beautiful is that? To trust in the universe and let this go, right? And stop that worry and really get visualizing about what it is you truly want, though. Because it's all about visualization. Like I said, it doesn't have to come down to, you know, exactly every point of your visualization. But definitely, you've heard stories of these people. I wanted a big house. I wanted this and that. They had visualized this one house. And they got pretty close to what they wanted. Right? I've heard these stories really close, just happy as, you know, as can be um, because they pretty much got exactly what they wanted. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Okay, so let's, let's go over here. I got these Lawn Attraction cards, guys. I love these. We don't use these a lot. Um, this one is money, so let's go to the money, money. Help our friends with money. Give them some idea spirit on what they can learn on money. These are from the Abraham Hicks. If you guys never watched that, you might want to go watch those. You can find them online. We talk about law and attraction all the time. So, going straight from the manifestation card, straight to law and attraction. We have, I am developing the skill to direct my thoughts. The most valuable skill or talent that you could ever develop is that of directing your thoughts toward what you want. To be adept to quickly evaluating all situations and then quickly coming to the conclusion of what you want most. And then giving your undivided attention to that. There is a tremendous skill in deliberately directing your own thoughts that will yield results that cannot be compared with results that mere action can provide. Pretty much what it's saying is know what you want. You know, I've done, I've done personal readings with people, my friends, and they're like, but I don't know what I want. Well, if you don't know exactly what you want, then how is the universe going to know what you want? Right? I don't know if I really want love. I think I want love. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Money. I'm not sure. Well, you're, this is a money card. What, what are you looking for? You know, what are you looking for? Are you looking for 
you know, $20 an hour, you're looking for this, you look, I'm just looking to look, be happy. Okay, well, happiness comes in so many different ways. I know people who make minimum wage who are super happy. Tell the universe what you want. He's waiting. They're waiting. So make sure that you're directing your thoughts towards what you want so that way they can get the closest to it or give you exactly what you want. But remember, things take time. This is another big killer for everybody. Impatience. I think that's everybody's biggest, biggest failure is impatience. That and trusting. Because once we don't get what exactly we want, then we start not trusting anymore. Oh, this is stupid. This is not working. This is so stupid. This is not true. This is this. This is that. Okay. Okay. Patience. I've known people that it's taken seven years for them to get exactly to where they want to be. Actually, finally happened. Doesn't happen overnight. Depends on what you want. I have control over the thoughts I think. Because you do have the lock to unlock all the doors. Since you have the control over what your thoughts, over what thoughts you offer, what could be more than just the powerful law of attraction responding equally to everyone who offers a vibration? Once you gain control over the thoughts you think, your sense of injustice will subside and will be re replaced with the exuberance for life and the zest to create that you were born with. Let everything in the universe be example to you in the way of law of the universe works. Next failure, reaching vibrations. That's usually another one. It takes a lot of time to reach those vibrations. Stay with those vibrations within the universe. That's another hardest part of law and attraction. So make sure you're always working, staying strong. Watch your words. Watch how you talk to yourself. I am, right? Always make sure you're using I am. I am is the same as the universal language, just broken down as an Aum. Guys, I'm sure you've all heard it throughout Buddhism, Hinduism, Aum. And that breaks down to I am. It has the same vibrations. I am wealth. I am happy. I am beautiful. I am deserving. I am giving, I am loving, I am open to receive. My thoughts and manifestations enjoy a buffer of time. That's what I was talking about earlier. Why does it have a buffer of time, my friends? In attraction-based universe, there's so much, there is no such thing as no. Your attention to it says yes only. In your physical reality, things do not manifest instantly. For there is a wonderful buffer of time that gives you the opportunity to redirect your attention more toward what you do want to experience. So yes, there's a buffer. There's this buffer that's saying, are you sure that's what you want? I'm going to give you time to make sure that that's exactly what you want. Especially those, I like I was saying before, what is it that you truly want? Are you sure that's what you want? Right? So there is a buffer. And that's why things take time as well. And there's also tests that go with these things as well. The bigger the manifestation, the more the test. Underneath the words of abundance, the law of attraction treats my imagination as reality. But I do want to say one thing. Remember, when you're consciously manifesting, remember that the conscious only gives about 10%. Maybe 20%, 10 to 20% of the result, getting it out to the universe. It's all about the subconscious. The subconscious is really what's making it. That's what's really putting it out there, really making it happen. So while you're doing so, you really want to be in a meditative state. Because while you're in a meditative state, you will have your subconscious open. And that's really where you're making dreams come true. So, like I said, your conscious awake awareness is only going to put out so much your dream state of you sleeping is only going excuse me only going to put out so much as well it's getting tongue-tied <laughs> it's like one of those moments in life where it's like i have all these thoughts in my head and i can't get them all out that fast uh the universe uh which is responding to the thoughts you are thinking 
does not distinguish between a thought from your observation or some observed reality and a thought brought about by your imagination. In either case, the thought equals your point of attraction. And if you focus upon it long enough, it will become your reality. And when you guys start focusing on things that you know you really want, watch for signs and, sim and symbol, uh, symbols for sure. Um, it's kind of like all of a sudden I know I want to be a hairdresser and then all of a sudden I see all these billboards about um, doing hair. Uh, this, you know, see a commercial about this perfect curling iron. You see what I'm saying? Watch for those things because now your mind is in tune with those things because that's what's going on within your life. Um, as you're manifesting, you want to know answers. You might get feathers coming down from butterflies, um, seeing that hummingbird coming towards you, right? So watch your signs and symbols that the universe is on your side and has heard your prayer and that everything is coming to light, right? Um, Yes, that you are on the right path towards your manifestation. Watch your numbers too, right? 666. Six, six. And all these guys don't know what they mean. Even if it's, I don't, it doesn't even have to be doubles and triples. Even if it's like 514, 513 all the time, please Google that and look up angel number, right? And see what that means, okay? Because the spirit is talking to you. It doesn't always have to be about the double, triple numbers. It literally can be. You know, 514, 514, 314. I was getting that a lot, and they mean a lot of things. The doubles and, and triples just pretty much are just telling you you're, uh, you're aligned for what it is you truly want. But once they understand that you know that you're aligned, then the 555s, 333s will start going away. And you might start getting those 16s, 316, 216, the closer you get. And then all of a sudden it might become, you know, 888111, all of a sudden, 222, and then you know you're like, bam, here we go, right? I'm right on top of the trail over here. Okay, guys, so let's see what's going on in here. Believe I have all I want in life. And remember, guys, when you're visualizing, bring it into the present. Because subconscious doesn't know the future. It doesn't work that way. Because remember, there's no such time, there's no such thing as real time. Time does not exist. We make time exist. Okay? So when you do things, make sure that you are visualizing it in the present only. You are standing with this person you are visualizing. You guys are having a cup of coffee in the now. You're driving this car in the now. Otherwise, it's going to be one day, one day, one day, one day that never comes. You need to build the foundations of the blocks now. Okay. Believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. I deserve all the best life has to offer me. Don't let someone else's opinion of you become your reality. You know, 100. That's, yeah. That is, I'm going to grab one more for the positivity and faith over here. I choose compassion for myself and all beings every day. Be sure to bring out that compassion for everybody else. The universe loves it when we love back, um, right? When I spread love, I get love. When I spread money, I get money. That's why it's called currency. It's not called currency for no reason. Get it? The flow, currency. It's not made to hoard or forever. Scrooge McDuck, um, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Oh, I love that. See someone down, make sure you're always bringing them up. <clears throat> love that. Even when, you know, and it's funny because we as humans, sometimes we even can bring beautifulness to someone else even when we feel like crap. So, okay, guys, just remember what you need to do, right? Stop the worry and get visualized. There's no worry here. There's no worry. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Don't worry if it's not or going to happen. Just allow everything to flow naturally, right? It's your life. 
You live it. You script it. You're the co-creator. Right? You co-create with with the universe. And make sure that you're always using your affirmations, my friends. Like, I am. Right? I am beautiful. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am. I am. I am. Beautiful prayers. Beauty begins in the moment you decided to be yourself. Coco Chanel. Mm. We always pray for others, but how many times do we actually pray for ourselves? So let's start that. Till next time. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.